Hey guys, what's up? This is Corey, and welcome to the new and improved randomness. So, um, in case, I'm actually just going to talk, uh, the, I'm going to start over. Hey guys, what's up? This is Corey, and welcome to the new and improved randomness. So, I am going to be talking here for a couple minutes before I actually get into this and tell you guys about what's going on and why this has changed and everything. So if you want to skip ahead and just see the gameplay, then go ahead, I'll put an annotation to show you the time you need to skip to to get to that. So, in case you didn't see my Facebook post, which you probably didn't because almost no one has liked it, which you should, it's in the description, yeah, uh, could get some more likes on there, that would be nice. Um, I mentioned that I'm going to be doing a big overhaul on how I do randomness, and the reasoning behind that is that it was just getting really annoying to do all the like different ratings and the sound effects and all that stuff, and it was just a nightmare to edit because my editing program gets really slow when I have a lot of different clips and effects and transitions and all that. So I decided to just get rid of all that and like the weird intro and stuff, and I just said all that like three times in a row. So. Basically, all it's going to be now is just me playing a game for 20 minutes and then just afterwards briefly talking about how I liked it. I might go slightly into the three different categories, but that'll just be very brief, and then I'll give it a single rating just off the top of my head from 1 to 11, with 1 still being uh, the best and 11 the worst. And it's just going to be a lot simpler and easier, and I think you guys will probably like it better because with all those effects and stuff, I didn't really like the way it looked from the start. It wasn't how I pictured when I first came up with the idea for randomness, so I'm just getting rid of it. And I'm also going to change it so it's not exclusively games that I've never played before. It still mostly will be, but occasionally I'll do some that are not new to me, like this. So, if you're just joining me and you skipped ahead, this is Pokemon Showdown, which is an online way to do competitive Pokemon battles with random people online. And you can make your own team and go into different tiers like this, but I'm really not good at that. I'm pretty new to competitive battling, so I just do random battles. So you get random team, random movesets, and it's just a lot easier. It's more balanced because I don't have to go up against these people who have made these insanely good teams, and I'm just a total noob. So basically I'm just gonna, I've been playing this a lot recently, I've been getting kind of good at the random battles, I still don't even like have all the type advantages memorized and stuff, but it helps because it shows you all the moves and I'll show you how all that works. But I've just been getting really back into Pokemon with playing Emerald and stuff, and so I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna do a few battles here, you know, however many it takes to get 20 minutes or so. So let's get started with the first one right now. Alright, so. Oh, why is the music so quiet? Hang on, let me fix that. Um... Let's see here. That's a bit better. Hope you guys can hear that all right. Okay, and this is live, so this guy's waiting for me to uh, move. Okay, so let's see. I'm Psychic, and he's Fire-type. Uh, I'm just going to go with Psychic, see how that does. Whoa, okay, that Fire Blast did a lot. <laughs> Magmortar is a pretty powerful Pokemon. Um, I think it's either 4th or 5th gen. I still don't really know a lot about all like the newer Pokemon in 4th and 5th gn because I haven't played those games much. Okay, Mesprit's gone already. Let's see, do I have any water Pokemon? Or any with water moves? Uh, da -da -da. Hmm, well, that's not good. Um, do I at least have something... Uh, I'll just try Tornadus, why not? I think this guy's actually a legendary, so hopefully this will help. Uh, I'm gonna go for... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll go for Focus Blast. Yeah, again, see how it shows you, like, it's like a summary of what the move does, and if you hover over Pokemon, it shows possible abilities, what type it is, so it just makes it a lot easier, and whoa. Okay, I'm gonna turn the sound effects down a bit and keep the... There we go. Okay, uh, let's see, he's water type, so nothing that's super effective here. Um, I could just try Hurricane, let's see. 30% chance to confuse, that sounds pretty good to me, I'll try that. Okay, I did a decent amount. Especially being... Oh, he has Thunder. Okay, but I went first, so if I go first again, another Hurricane should be able to take it out as long as I don't miss. Alright, and that was pretty easy, seeing as I was fighting a Legendary, but I am one too, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he's going to bring out next. Yeah, this is just really fun. I've really been uh, liking this, especially because, you know, I can't play Pokemon Emerald too much because... Okay, I'm going to go for Super Power, see if I can take this thing out in one more hit. Probably not, but... Okay, yeah, dang it, now my attack and defense are down a lot. Okay, well, there goes Tornadus. Let's see. Still don't have anything... Um, oh, Rock Slide. There we go. That'll be super effective against Fire. Perfect. So I'll just go for that. 90% accuracy should be good. Um, but yeah, this is just nice so I can actually play Pokemon without having to play Emerald because I can only do that so much because otherwise, you know, my gameplay gets ahead of what I'm uploading. I already have like two and a half weeks of episodes already recorded that I haven't uploaded yet. So I'm getting way ahead of myself here. And he's taking a while to figure out what to do right now. <laughs> Dunsparce is a pretty interesting Pokemon. I really don't understand why it isn't, like, Bug-type. It, it's really weird. Wormadum Trash? 
Okay, I have no idea what that is. It's a really weird Pokemon. Let's see. Uh, I don't really have anything paralyzes. You know, I might as well do that. That way is a only 50% chance of being... Ah, oh, Toxic. I hate Toxic. The damage it does goes up every turn, so... I'm just going to go for another Rock Slide. I know that didn't do very much, but as Steel, he's going to be resistant to normal type moves. And I don't really feel like switching out again. Unless, do I have any fire moves? Because if I do, it would be four times effective against him. Okay, I don't. Oh, but I do have Toxic Spikes here. I'm going to switch out and use that. That way I won't get harmed by the Toxic and I can try and get some Spikes out. Okay, yeah, he's doing hazards right now too, so... I guess that's the way to go. Actually, I wanted to look at... What is this? Okay, that's just a normal Poison type move. 30% chance to Poison. It's pretty good. Ha! <laughs> he tried to Toxic me even though I'm a Poison type. That doesn't work. So if I get two sets of... Poison spikes out there, that's good, because every time he brings out a Pokemon, they'll get toxic. So it's pretty nice. His battle's relatively even so far. Not really any sweeping going on. Both teams are pretty pretty good. And waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> Usually I don't take too long trying to think of what to do. I wish I could make this part of the battle screen bigger, though, because like I have all this room just for the text, even though it all shows up here anyways, and I just wish I could make this bigger, but oh well, it's still fine. I think I'm gonna turn the music up just a tad more still. Put it at uh, 60 if I can get it there. There we go. Alright, and he's still taking a while. I'm gonna start the battle timer. I don't know why I didn't do that before. It really annoys me though because the battle timer, it gives them 150 seconds, which is what, two and a half minutes? Yeah, that's way too long to have to wait for someone to make a move, like honestly. <laughs> it should be like maybe 30 seconds or so. Like, even waiting that long for someone to make a move is kind of annoying. So I'm hoping this guy doesn't take too much longer, like, I don't know what the deal is here. <laughs> okay, yeah, there went 30 seconds, come on, dude. I'm doing a video here. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do is if he keeps not going, I'm just gonna cut out and come back when he's made a move, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, and he finally did something. He tried to use Toxic again on me for whatever reason. I don't know why he keeps doing that, but now I have two sets of Toxic Spikes out on him. And let's see, he has a Bug Steel type. I don't really think... Um, I don't think Dark is going to be effective against him. I could try it, though. See if it's at least not... Okay, it is not very effective. And he has Iron Head, and that did a decent amount to me. So I'm not going to keep Nidoran in here. That seems like kind of stupid. Uh, let's see here. What can I do? Hmm... Is fighting resistant to steel? I don't think it is. I know ice is um, weak to it, so I'll try bringing out this guy. Verizian, or whatever. <laughs> ah, paralyzed, haha. <laughs> okay, this thing is actually being really annoying to try and take out. Uh, I could go for close combat. Let's see how that does. And, okay, that was decent, 39%. Still is going to take oh, at least two more hits, though, because now I have... Oh, and I keep forgetting he has Toxic, so that's going to suck. Now two of my Pokemon have Toxic. Uh, I can try Leaf Blade. Although, okay, that's resistant. Actually, that's resisted by both of those types, isn't it? Bug and Steel, I think, are both resistant to Grass, so that was kind of stupid. Um, I guess I'm just going to try another Close Combat. This isn't looking too good right now. I really need to take this thing out, because he keeps Toxic, uh, getting Toxic on all my Pokemon. But I'll start getting Toxic on all of his because of those Toxic Spikes, once he has to start bringing others out. So there we go. Goodbye, Wormadum. <laughs> A really weird Pokemon. Yeah, one more turn and I'm dead though for sure. Or I will faint. <laughs> Alright, and let's see what he's gonna pick. Actually, he's probably gonna bring Magmortar back out because I have a grass type on the field. That's my guess, anyways, unless he has something else that's good. Um, if he ever, you know, like makes a decision. <laughs> there we go. Oh, a Grovo. That's interesting. Okay, well, he's poisoned now, so that's cool. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just go for another close combat. I know my... Oh, wait, it only lowered my defense. Never mind. For some reason, I was thinking of superpower where it would lower my attack. Okay, so yeah, I knew that was coming. Um, that Pokemon wasn't going to last much longer. And I'm going to go with Nidoran because grass is weak to poison, so I can just use the... What was that move? Poison Jab. And that should do a decent amount of damage. I'm hoping that he doesn't have a poison type or a rapid spinner to ever get rid of those spikes. This is going to be really useful if all of his Pokemon keep getting toxic when they come out on the field. And Hidden Power, okay. Wasn't super effective, so I'm good. And wow, that killed it in one hit. That Grovo was not very strong. 
Another thing about the random battle is it is random levels, but it seems like they're almost always like at least between like 75 and 100, so it's not bad. Let's see. Crocodile is ground and dark. Is that thing wearing sunglasses? Like, are you serious? Are they getting that bad with the Pokemon designs these days? Alright, I'm just gonna try another poison jab. Hope I go first. Okay, not even close. Do I have any flying types now? This is actually not looking good for me. Um, I could try bringing Dunstars, Dunsparce back out. Uh, this thing has Recover, though, so I might want to go for that. Yeah. Cryogonal. Cry cry Did I say that right? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to put a Reflect up and hope I don't get owned by one hit from this thing. He may have a Fighting move. That's what I'm kind of worried about, because that would be bad against me, being Ice-type. Um, what did he do? Oh, I just, okay, yeah, that sucked. I'm pretty much screwed, actually. There, I don't think there's really any way I can win this battle now. Especially because my last Pokemon I have has Toxic on it, and no way of restoring HP. Oh, I do have Roost, never mind. That might, I might be able to outlast him. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide. I don't think that's gonna do very much, but, you know, I don't really have much other choice, so... Okay, yeah, that's resisted. That did hardly anything. Well, I'm going to use Roost this next turn, though, because if he does another Earthquake and then combined with Toxic, that's going to take down quite a bit of my HP. I'm not very confident about this, but I do have Rock Slide, which will be good against uh, Magmortar, and I have no idea what his last Pokemon will be, but I might have a chance here. Let's see what he's going to do. I don't Because he doesn't know I have Roost yet, I haven't used it. And also, the Leftovers help a little bit. I think Leftovers are really underrated as like a useless item because it restores so little, but, I mean, restoring HP after every turn, even though it's only, like, 10% or less. I mean, it's still something, you know. Alright, so, okay, Keldeo. Never heard of that thing before either. Water fighting. That sucks, because I'm normal type. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna use another Roost, because he's... Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I lost it. I got pretty close. Um, like, Mortar only had 23% HP left. But anyways, okay, so there was that battle. I lost... So, let's see, I hope probably have time for at least one more, so let's look for another random battle, and hope I can win this one. That would be nice. Okay, now why is the music all of a sudden, like, way louder in this one? That was really weird. I think that was why I had it down so far. It's like the different different tracks have different volumes. That was really strange. Okay, and he has bug type, so I'm gonna go for Fire Punch. What on earth is that thing? Like, are you serious? Some of these new Pokémon, like, I still haven't seen them all, even by doing these random battles. Yeah, I'm Steel-type, I'm immune to poison, ha ha ha. Oh, and I have a- ah, oh, Choice Band. I honestly hate those Choice items. Like, there's Choice Band, Choice Scarf, Choice Specs. Makes it so as soon as you use one Pokemon, or one move, that's the only one you can use until you switch out, and it's really, really annoying. I don't know, I mean, I'm sure it has some other advantage, like it has a separate effect, and it's like a trade-off, but I just, I really don't like it at all. Like, if I made my own team, I would not use any of those items, for sure. So, I have a feeling... He's not going to switch out because this thing is so relatively useless, and I don't think it would really be worth it for him to switch out, but it is taking a while to make a decision. I'm going to start the timer again. I'm going to start probably doing that like every time, just in case people take a while. Okay, he did switch out to a Chikorita nonetheless. What are you doing, dude? I keep have a fire move that I keep using. Like, are you serious? <laughs> What if, like, every single one of his Pokémon was weak to fire? That would be hilarious. I've had that happen once, where I think, like, all six of my Pokémon were weak to... Oh, it was, like... It's... I don't remember which type it was, but it was just really stupid. Okay, so now he brought out his own fire type. That's... I... It might be a good idea for me to switch, but at the same time, is fire and fighting, and I'm steel psychic? Oh, wait, never mind. That's bad. That means I'm weak to fire because of the steel. Okay, yeah, I should switch out. Uh, do I have anything with water moves? Anything with water moves. Wait, um... Not seeing it. I'm gonna go to Rye. No, because fighting against rock is bad. Um, uh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna go to Salamence, just because it's a freaking beast. And, okay. Wait, I resist- Oh yeah, that's right, Dragon? One thing I really like about Dragon type is it's resistant to all, like, the four, like, quote, main types, like fire, water, grass, and electric. So, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. See if that does any decent amount of damage. Actually, I think it might be super effective because isn't ground good against fire? I'm not sure. Well, I'm about to find out anyways, so... If he picks a move... Oh, he's switched. Okay. Nidoqueen. Well, <laughs> poison is weak to ground, so I'm not sure what he was trying to do there, and I'm probably going to be able to go first anyways, so... 
Yeah, that was a really dumb move on his part. <laughs> there goes Nidoqueen, and oh, I got an attack raise from that move? I didn't know that. Oh wait, Moxie? Is that an ability? Okay, I have no idea. Never heard of that one. And he brings out... <laughs> Dude, really? You bring out an electric type when I've been using Earthquake? Like, what are you doing? Oh, jeez. He had a hidden power... Wait. Oh. N wait, what? Oh, it has an air balloon, that's why. Okay, never mind, that was good on his part. He has hidden power either, probably ice, because that did so much because I'm quad resistant or, or weak to it. So there's no sense leaving Salamence in here. Um, I guess, what can I what can I bring out instead? Uh, let's see. Hmm, I'm gonna bring out Serpier. Serpier. Cause, oh no, because if that was hidden power ice, then, okay, well, whatever, he's switching anyways. I was thinking, because yeah, I'm resistant to electric moves, but I would be weak to grass, so that was stupid. Okay, and now he brought out Combuskin. So, uh, I don't want to have to switch again, but I'm sure he has a fire move. I could just go for... No, Dragon Pulse is not going to take it out. I have to switch again. I don't really have much of a choice. Yeah. Even though he might even be able to kill me with one hit anyways, just because I'm... Okay, never mind. Oh, I have leftovers on that thing, so that's cool. Um, let's see, I'm going to go for Earthquake again. He's probably going to switch again to Jolteon, and its Air Balloon will just prevent it from getting hit, and I might as well just let Salamence die if that's the case, because I don't want to have to keep switching back and forth all the time. Alright, let's see what he's going to do. Oh, he... Ah, oh, man, that was just enough to take me out. Okay. Well, that sucks, because now he's fast and has high attack. What can I bring out against him? Oh, Rhyhorn. I'll do that, because I think... I'm not sure if fighting is resistant to rock, but either way, I'm going to try Stone Edge. Actually, no. Oh, man. I was going to change that and try Earthquake instead, but yeah, I'm going to do that. That speed boost ability is really annoying. He basically like always goes first now. <laughs> Alright, come on, dude. What are you going to do? Or, I keep saying he, but um, judging by the sprite, I would guess that's a chick. <laughs> Either that or it's just a guy who likes to look at that. Just, never mind. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Why am, I res why am I weak to flying? I'm assuming maybe that is a fighting type move. I'm not sure. Okay, anyways, uh, this isn't looking good for me right now. I'm going to try bringing out my own Jolteon, because the other three of my Pokemon are going to be weak to fire. Although he hasn't used a fire move yet. I don't know if he actually has any, to be honest. Hmm. Let's see, do I have... Okay. I think I'm going to set out a substitute to see what he's going to try and use against me. Or maybe he'll just um, switch out anyways. Okay, wow! He would have a freaking powerful fire move. Okay, I'm pretty much screwed now, honestly, because all three of these are... Oh, man, this blows. I'm going to lose two battles in a row. Um, God. I guess Iron Head. This is just terrible. Yeah, he's just going to keep using Flare Blitz, and I'm just going to keep getting owned, and there's nothing I can do about it, because both these other Pokemon are going to be weak to fire. So... That's pretty much GG already, but I might have time for another battle at least if that's the case. Yeah, this is, I just have no chance, especially because he's moving first every single time. And yeah, sure, he'll faint on the last turn because of how much recoil he's getting, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be... Ah, I can't even talk. I'm going to have lost anyways. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, that sucked, so I'm two for two in losses. So let's try another one and see if I can get another battle in here. Maybe I'll just get lucky with my team and be able to just totally sweep everything that's thrown at me. Okay, so this isn't a good start. Um, normal types are going to be... He's immune to normal attacks, so... I could try that, but if he has something... You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to go for the belly drum and hope I get lucky and he doesn't have something that can take down the other 50% of my HP. Let's see what else I have here. Um, Yamas, no idea what that is. Politoed, Ampharos, Blaziken, and whatever the hell that thing is. Kitsuno. <laughs> okay then. Make a move, buddy. <laughs> He's probably sizing up his team, but you know, you can do that once the battle starts instead of making me wait all this time. So one suck my dick. Really, dude? How mature. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the one unfortunate thing about doing these online battles, is that if, you know, someone decides to take a really long time, then, you know, they take a really long time and you have to wait and there's nothing you can do about it. And if it turns out they're not playing anymore, then you have to wait 150 seconds for them to... Oh, come on, dude. Okay, there we go. Battle started. Maximize my attack, and okay, he had hidden power, probably fighting. Actually, it had to be, because that's the only thing normal's um, weak to. 
So actually, I'm gonna bring out. Oh, this thing's a ghost type. Yeah, I'm gonna bring out my own ghost type and use Shadow Ball and hope I go first and hope I can just take this thing out right away. I don't really think of Ghastly as a very strong. Oh, and of course, he was able to go first and use his own Shadow Ball. Wow, this is looking so bad already. And this is another ghost type, really? <sighs> Should I risk it? I don't know what else. I don't think there's anything else that's good against Ghost. Or isn't Dark actually good against Ghost? It might be. Um, do I have any other Dark moves on any of my Pokemon? I didn't think so. You know what? I'm going to risk it and hope that I happen to be faster. Or maybe Steel's resistant to Ghost, so he'll only do normal damage. Anyways, I'm just going to hope that... Oh, man, he would have a Focus Sash after all this. And now he's going to use Shadow Ball and... Okay, I was right. I guess Steel is resistant to Ghost. But I went first, so I'm probably going to do it again and be able to destroy this Ghastly once and for all. Now that I have two Pokemon dead and one with only 40% HP already. But who knows, maybe the rest of his Pokemon will just suck and, you know, shit will go down. You never know. <laughs> That's the glory of the random battles. I've actually been doing pretty good in these recently, but today apparently I'm just having shit luck. <laughs> I think the other day I, I only lost, like, two battles and I was doing this for, like, over an hour, so, you know, it's pretty good. And Electivire. Interesting. Oh, it's pure. Oh, and of course, I also have a Choice Band, so this is the only thing I can use. Well, hmm. I actually kind of want to be able to use those other moves, so I'm going to switch. Oh, Politoed is water? I thought it was like water grass or something. Uh, let's see. I am going to go to my own electric type, actually. That'll make things interesting. Um, and he has a flamethrower. Wow, okay. Of course, he would get a critical hit, you know. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I don't have anything super effective, but I can try Focus Blast and hope I hit him, because it'll do a good amount of damage if I do. I mean, 70% accuracy isn't that bad, you know. It's a lot better chances than being, like, <clears throat> excuse me, than being paralyzed or something. And he goes to Spinda, which is a really bad move, especially since I just used Focus Blast, but unfortunately I missed anyways. I'm going to try it again. And he has super power on that thing, and that's all it did? That's kind of cool. And I missed Focus Blast again. Okay, well, at least I can survive another superpower. Oh, no, I can't because his attack just got raised. Well, that blows. Um, I'm probably dead. Maybe I'll be able to survive it, or maybe he'll be stupid and use something else, or... I don't know. If I could hit this move, that would be really nice. Okay, yeah, I'm probably dead. Yep. God, I'm just... Either I'm just being really stupid, or these teams are not cool. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, well, I'll just bring out Blaziken because of the fighting moves. I'll go with high jump kick and hope I don't miss, because then I'm screwed. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get out. That honestly didn't kill it in one hit. 130 power, and that's all you can... Wow! That's really annoying. I can't believe I'm getting owned by a Spinda. <laughs> like, I really can't. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Flare Bits, because 100% accuracy. Wait, doesn't that... Don't I take recoil from that? Yeah. Um, I take recoil from all three of my damaging moves. That blows. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna he's not gonna be losing much Protect. He's gonna use Protect after all this. Just gonna probably keep doing that and raising his HP from freaking leftovers. But my oh I have speed boost, that's nice. So yeah, Spinda's finally dead. That sucked, and now Blaziken's almost dead too. <laughs> oh, because of the life orb, I've been losing HP after every turn, I didn't notice that. It's the most annoying item. I don't know what the upside of that thing is, but it really pisses me off. Zekrom. Dragon Electric. Oh, that's just great. At least I'm going to go first, so I can try and do a good amount of damage to him before I go out. I'll just go for a high jump kick. And, wow, that did pretty good. Okay. Now, I have no idea what to bring out, though. Uh, what type was this thing? Oh, that's my Steel Ghost. Sure, why not? <laughs> not like I have much of a chance against this guy anyways. Ugh, I'll just go for Shadow Strike, why the hell not? Oh, and I went first, and oh, that wasn't enough to kill him, really, dude? Okay, now I'm down to my last Pokemon, it's a Water-type, he has Electric Attacks. Ugh, this just sucks. <laughs> oh, come on now. Um, or I can just use Protect, I guess. I'm not really gonna gain anything from it. Pretty much just waste a turn, like, honestly, that's the one thing I don't understand about that move. It, er, that's just 
the reason I don't understand that move at all was what I meant to say, because it really doesn't make any sense. It's like, yeah, you're protected from attacks for one turn, but it also just wastes the turn because it doesn't accomplish anything on either side. And I lost the third battle in a row. So that was really disappointing. I'm sorry you guys didn't even get to see me win a single battle. But anyways, that is Pokemon Showdown. So, uh, just to get into the... I haven't really done this before with my new randomness. I haven't really um, thought too much about how I'm going to talk about after the game, like how I liked it and stuff. So, um, I guess I'll just say it's really awesome. <laughs> I like Pokemon Showdown a lot. I think it's a really great way to be able to do competitive battles without having to try and link up or do Wi-Fi with your DS, or I don't even know how all that works, because honestly, I've never had a handheld game system myself. I know it's really sad, but I've always played Pokemon games on emulators and such. And so this is really cool, and... Like I said, you, there's with these other tiers, you can make your own team, and there's ones where you can use Ubers, and other ones where you can only use like certain Pokemon and stuff, and it just makes it really cool. And you can select all their moves, and all right down to the EVs, and it's really cool. So I think it's really great. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it lately, and it's very, you know, it's they don't make anything up. Like everything is exactly how it should be according to the original Pokemon game. So it's really accurate. It's really nice, and uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So. I am going to give this website slash game slash whatever a two-star rating. So 